Hello, Scorpios. This is your reading for the upcoming week. This reading is for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with Scorpio? Please show me the energy that surrounds Scorpio for the upcoming week. Please show me the energy around Scorpio. What is the energy around Scorpio? Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. You're leaving things behind that you feel like I'm done with that. I've had enough of that. That is what that energy is. You've had enough of something here. I feel like you're going towards your happiness. You saw that Ten of Cups that I showed you. I feel like you've had some time to think about what it is that you want and um, you're deciding to go for it, whatever that is. You're deciding to go for it. <laughs> Your happiness, whether it's with somebody or by your lonesome, okay? But I get the feeling you won't be lonesome. You won't be lonely. You're going to do whatever it takes to make you happy here. Sagittarius energy. I feel like, like, like a lot of you guys are like moving forward with something. You're moving on from something. I'm also getting the message that you guys were in a relationship and you were hurt and you were stuck in that misery for a while but I feel like you've given up on something here I feel like you guys still want a relationship but you're not settling and you're not taking somebody's shit at this point what's crossing Scorpios what's crossing Scorpios please show me what's crossing Scorpios and then Nine of Cups comes up again. Look at that shit. Go get your happiness. Go do what's best for you. Okay? I love it. Absolutely. What is the underlying issue here for Scorpios? Underlying issue for Scorpios. King of Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. So you're not filling in your element. You're not, okay. Um, there's, whatever's happened before has got you feeling kind of topsy-turvy. I feel like there's some underlying unhappiness. Okay, you're not, this is supposed to be upright, in control of your emotions. I feel like your emotions are all over the place right now. One minute you, you've given up on what it is that you probably need to give up on. And then the next minute you're back in it. So emotions are all over the place and we have nothing but cups right now. So what was going on in the recent past? What was going on in the recent past? And then we have a three of cups in reverse. Why are my cards? My deck is upside down looks like. Let me look and see. If so, I'm going to flip. My deck is upside down. That's what that is. How did that happen? As a matter of fact, all of my cards are, which is weird. Hmm. Okay. But these came out upright. So now I have flipped it upright. There is success ahead of you. Um, but I feel like in the recent past, things didn't pan out the way that you wanted them to. There was no happy ending. There was no happy reunion. Okay. Still a lot of cups here. Very emotional time for you guys. Okay. I feel like you haven't been really going out and, and showing your face. Because something has had you all in your feelings. What is the, what crowning thoughts do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio's crowning thoughts. Scorpio's crowning thoughts. Knight of Wands, just wanting to move on, not really stay in one place too long. I feel like you guys want to stick and move at this point. Because somebody, I feel like, caught you. And they caught you at like this vulnerable state. 
and um, you were there for a while, I'm, I'm getting that a lot of you guys feel like you've learned your lesson and that the next situation that you get into, you're not going to allow yourselves to be all in. It's what I'm hearing. Hmm. What's coming in for Scorpios? What's coming in for Scorpios? Please show me. Eight of Wands in reverse. How did that happen? As you see, I have turned those cards up, right? But they're wanting to do what they want to do. Guys, okay. So the Eight of Wands in the reverse is going back to standing your ground, not budging, not moving. Okay. So for some of you, there is a Leo, I feel, that's significant to you, that's not moved on, that's coming in to try to stop your progress. If it's not a Leo, it's somebody with that type of energy. I do feel like there is a fire energy here for you. We see Sagittarius right here, but some of you may be on that cusp. But there's definitely somebody that does not want you to move on from them that's coming in for you. Okay. <clears throat> How is Scorpio viewing this situation? How is Scorpio viewing this situation? Nine of Wands. I feel like you're tired. I feel like you're ready to do something different. I feel like you guys are ready to go in a different direction, actually. Because this situation has weighed you down way too long. And I feel like you guys are ready to move on. You're ready to do different things. Again, Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> What is the influence here for Scorpio? Influence for Scorpio. Temperance. You just want to be at peace. You don't want to be too up. You don't want to be too down. You just want to be, I feel like, left alone. But there's a piece of you that does want to get along with this person to um, for some of you even be with this person work things out with this person but I feel like you're trying to get yourself together you're trying to get yourself together above all else I feel like you want peace in your life and if that means walking away from them then that's what you I feel like you'll do and that's where most of you are leaning towards just leaving a situation alone and going on with your life and not allowing anybody else to affect you the way that this past person has affected you. Again, Sagittarius energy. This to me feels like it's all about you and your emotional ups and downs. Um, when you're up, I think you really want to move forward but when you're down and you're stuck in thought about this person then your movements kind of slow slow down a little bit hopes or fears for Scorpio hopes or fears for Scorpio five of cups you don't want to be feeling stuck and hurt forever because for some reason, this feels like I'm not going to get over them. I'm not going to get past this. Am I ever going to stop feeling this way? I feel like there's this level of regret. There's something that happened between you and this person. There's Because there's like this level of regret. Like I wish I had not done this. Or I wish I had not said this. There are no sores here right now. It's just a bunch of feelings up and down and then doing things I feel like haphazardly in the moment and not really thinking things through. 
What is the overall outcome here for Scorpio? And then we have the star healing. That is what this reading is speaking to. You guys healing. I feel like you guys opened yourself up to someone and, and along the way made a few mistakes and tried to, um, I feel like, fix those mistakes and somebody's really not taking any kind of change that you've tried to make into account. And now there, I feel like there's a lot of regret. There's a lot of blaming on both sides. And it's tough for you to handle right now. Um, you guys are wanting to basically remove yourselves from this situation because it's so hurtful. It's so bothersome, I feel. You just want peace. And I tell you this, if this person allows you to fully heal and get past them, I don't feel like you'll go back. I also feel like whoever you meet in the future is going to have a tough time um, breaking down your walls. Honestly, okay. So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.